the internet today I have a new plan with me video and I'm gonna be featuring this kit which you likely would have seen in a previous sticker haul video so these stickers were sent sent to me by blank slate stickers so I didn't pick them up myself which is kind of something I wanted to do because when I order stickers I always tend to order the same sort of designs very like pastel very neutral very soft colors and I never really go for very strong dark colors unless they're part of a subscription kit but I personally don't pick them so when Blank Slate Stickers contacted me I just let her pick any stickers she wanted to feature and she picked this kit and I'll be honest this is not a kit that I would normally pick which is exactly why I want to use it now because I really want to kind of go out of my comfort zone and use styles that I wouldn't normally so this is kind of like a neon purple unicorn kit and so yeah I'm really keen to see what this looks like in a total kit put together Together. So this is the week we'll be planning in. It's a very special week. It's my two-year wedding anniversary but 15-year dating anniversary with Tobias and we're not actually going to be doing anything too extravagant. To be honest, I don't even think we're going to be doing anything major. We're not really big anniversary celebrators if that makes sense. You know, when you date you're like, oh we've been together for one month now or two months now and then after a while you're like, it's been seven years <laughs> and so I don't know we don't celebrate them as much as we used to so yeah if you notice the shadowing by the way I don't know like I notice it now when I'm filming but then when I edit the video I don't notice it as much um, I'm filming quite a bit later in the afternoon today just because we had quite a few errands we had to run in the morning um, today being Sunday 5th of August um, and I didn't get to do any filming on Saturday because I was working on a lot of software stuff so this is the only time slot I have to film hopefully the lighting is okay I actually have set up a studio lighting area but it's like in a different room completely and I cannot be bothered moving all my stuff across yet let's get on with all the standard stuff bottom strips activity boxes date covers and I'll be right back I'm back now so Monday I feel like I really need some sort of headers here it just feels blank without headers but this kit doesn't come with any extra headers so I'm just looking through my little uh, scrapbook to see if I've got anything I can use how does this look silver yeah I think it's all right cool so I think I'm just gonna start off each day with like a glitter header I think it just I don't know it just feels like it works a little bit better and um, it's the start of the work week for me, so I'm going to put this little guy from the Coffee Monster Co. I think I'll write everything later, so I'm not going back and forth. And I'll put down my to-do list. Figured I may as well just talk to you guys as I put everything down, because I find like what I'm really loving about these Plan With Me's now, and I have no idea if anyone really likes it or not, but I find it really therapeutic to kind of sit here and just chat to you guys about my week. Um, and how things have gone. It's kind of like a dear diary moment. So I actually wanted to start trying to vlog every day in August, just not, not for any real purpose, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to vlog for the sake of vlogging. Um, and I also, I do enjoy the act of vlogging. I actually find that it helps build my public speaking capability as well, which, you know, is a good thing if you guys are ever in a situation where you want to be more confident with your public speaking, I actually recommend doing some vlogging. I don't know why, but it really works for me, builds my confidence up, and it makes, like, it helps me form coherent sentences on the goal, goal, <laughs> clearly not working so well right now, but it helps me form coherent sentences as I talk, and it doesn't, it just means that I can kind of communicate what I'm thinking on the go rather than having to plan or think about what I'm going to say. And I mean, everybody can do that. That's why you talk to friends and stuff like that. But it helps me formulate those thoughts even when I'm feeling nervous because when I vlog in public, I'm actually pretty nervous. I'm not sure how well that translates into camera. I think I, it's pretty obvious when I vlog that I'm quite nervous but it does help me get over my nerves around that. So I wanted to do that. It's just 
for some reason it's just not working out because I keep forgetting to vlog, which is just terrible. I keep telling myself, okay, today I'm going to vlog this. Like last week was such a great week to start vlogging because I was doing so many things after work. I was heading out, I was seeing people. So like perfect week. Oh, this is not. It's not even. How do I put this up just here? Yeah, there we go. Maybe just a little bit across. There we go. Cool. It got really frustrating because I would say I'd start the day and be like, okay, Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. We're going to be doing this, this, and this, this. And I thought, cool. And then during the day I'd forget to vlog, and then I'd get home, and then I would wrap up the vlog, and I'd be like, oh, I have no footage, because I completely forgot to vlog. So I decided I'm not going to vlog for August anymore. Probably makes sense. I do have a lot of things I need to get done, so the vlogging probably would just add to additional stress, which I really could go without for now. But yeah, that was my plan for the week. And it, oh, I completely forgot to put the glitter header on top as well for this one. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove this and put the glitter header down for Tuesday, Wednesday. See how that goes. Yeah, I recently uploaded a video on my main channel. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything onto that channel. And I explain in that latest video why that's been the case. It's really things just kind of got carried away and I just ended up not having the time or the mental capacity to do it. It just feels really good because I feel like this week or well, this past week I was able to upload a lot of different videos on my channels. I was able to upload something on my vlog channel, I was able to upload something on my main channel and I'm able to upload something on my planner channel. So it just, I don't know, it makes me feel really productive and it just leaves me in a really good mood. I do want to try and keep up the main channel videos. I feel like the planner channel, because I just love filming on this channel. It's just so therapeutic for me to just sit down and do planning and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's not as fun as like, it's fun, but when you're filming yourself, it's a little different, but it's still really nice and therapeutic and I enjoy the process a lot. I don't know whether my audience on that channel stresses me out more, but yeah, I just struggle a little bit more with the main channel. So I'm trying to set up a schedule so that I can do things, but yeah, I really don't, I don't want to promise anything to be honest. I just feel like I'm opening myself up for failure if I try and promise people that I'm going to do this and this and this. So I'm just, I'm just not going to. But last week was really busy. So last week we had our book club and um, nobody in the club finished reading the book, which is really, it was a first. Like usually we never have an issue with finishing books in book club, but we just, nobody could finish this book and it wasn't because it was like a long book or a hard, I mean it was a long book but it wasn't difficult it was just I don't know like I don't want to like criticize the book or anything like that it was a psychology book around raising conscientious children I'm not sure if that sounds familiar to anyone that was the sort of book we were reading and nobody really enjoyed it I'm gonna be honest nobody really enjoyed the book because it felt very judgmental the book came off like the author was being quite judgmental in our opinion so it was just kind of frustrating to read so in the end none of us finished reading it we spent the time just kind of trying to understand why we felt it was so judgmental it wasn't the book i chose just because i don't have children so i wouldn't be inclined to read about child psychology books my friend actually picked it who she has a daughter about a year and a half years old and i think she's really trying to figure out the best thing to do for her child and she just hated the book. She just wasn't a big fan of it. In my experience, when I usually read psychology-esque sort of books, they don't feel like they're coming across very judgmental. Like, it doesn't feel like they're trying to tell me off for doing bad things. It's kind of like highlighting the things that could be improved in people's lives. And that's about it. This one just felt really judgmental. So yeah, book club was interesting. That was on the Wednesday last week. Thursday was Japanese. We went out for dinner after that. And then Friday, actually, for the first time in a really long time, I went out karaoke with friends, which I haven't done since university, I think. So like a good 11, 12 years ago. And it was so much fun. So much fun. I'm shocked at how much fun I ended up having. And it's also because we're not good. I, I'm not a good singer. My friends were not too bad, but like for the most part, we're not like the best singers. But it's like nobody cares. Everybody just wants to have fun. And that's like the best environment to be in like you just don't care what people think you're just gonna do your thing and 
enjoy yourself. And I love that. And I love when that mentality comes through and people just want to have fun. And the other thing that made karaoke so much fun is that a lot of these friends that I have, like this specific group of friends, are really into K-pop. Now, I listen to a ton of K-pop, like, obsessively. I used to really be, like, I guess my music taste is quite varied. I used to be really into J-pop when I first started coming online in my teen years because it was so connected to a lot of the anime I was watching. Um, but I was also really into a lot of techno trance music, which is why a lot of my intro music, intro, outro music for my videos tend to be quite trance-ish. It's just the sort of music that I really love to listen to. So that's what I mean by like, I have a bit of a variance in the sort of music I listen to. I've probably been getting into K-pop in the last few years now, really enjoying it. And I have a couple of friends who are really into it, but it's different when you can enjoy it together in person. Like, I don't really have any friends beside this group that share very similar music taste to me. Like, Tobias and I, completely different music tastes. Violet and I, we can't even stand each other's music at all. Um, so I, I think she listens to a lot more, I don't know, rockabilly sort of music? I'm not sure. So we just aren't even on the same wavelength. So when we do like road trips together, we can't listen to any music. Otherwise we might just murder each other in the car. So it was just really nice to be with a group of friends that I could just enjoy the sort of music I love with. I can't sing in Korean. Actually, Korean is one of the languages I'd really love to learn, but I have to still, you know, I want to level up in my Japanese because I want to get my Japanese to a certain level where I feel like I could confidently live and work in Japan. That would probably make me really happy if I could get to that point. And then after that, I really want to start uh, learning Chinese again. So I used to do Chinese when I was a bit younger. I used to attend Chinese school just because, for those of you who don't know, my ethnicity is Chinese. Although I've been born and raised in Australia, my parents are from Singapore, and then my um, grandparents and the rest of my like heritage is from China. So I would say that my culture is very much a mix of some Australian, Singapore and Chinese. And I would love to be able to speak fluent Chinese because it would mean that I could communicate with the other half of my family that I I just can't ever talk to, which really sucks every time I go back to Singapore. And for example, I see my grandma. I can't speak to her at all. We smile and she hugs me and everything's great, but it sucks that we can't talk to each other and have a conversation. And that's been like it my whole life. So I really, that's one of the goals that I have when it comes to learning Mandarin later on in life. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to get to a point where I can learn when she's still around to talk to, but it's just a goal that I have in mind. And then if that ever worked out, like I'm planning really far in advance, if that ever worked out, then yeah, I would love to learn Korean. But those are the sort of languages that I'm really obsessed with and I really want to get better at. Just going to need a lot of time. Okay, so we're on the weekend and I want to put down uh, a few half boxes because there's a few things we're doing on Saturday. So I feel like I definitely need a box for maybe the dinner we're going to be cooking to represent our two year or 15 year. I'm just going to go with our dating year because I feel like I don't want to lose the 13 years prior to our marriage. So I really want to do mark that. We're also going to that Sugar Republic thing. Yeah, I think I'll make it this. I was going to put another half box down, but I don't know if it might look a bit too same same. So Sugar Republic will be for that one. And then Sunday, I don't think we actually have anything on, which would be good. It would be nice to just take it easy, but we probably will have to spend the time meal prepping for the week. I don't meal prep every single week because I freeze a lot of the food I make, like we bulk cook and then freeze. So there's no need to cook every single week. And I'm gonna flip over to the sidebar now. We've got a couple of food boxes left, but I think, I don't know whether I should use this one or this one. And I feel like this one probably looks a little bit more, like this one doesn't feel totally scented, whereas she or he feels very much scented. So I feel like that just feels more appropriate for this section here. And then we'll put on some habit trackers. Just down there. And, and then I want to put down a hydration sticker, although this kit doesn't have any hydration stickers. So I'm going to go into my little vault and pick out one that I think will fit this kit. Yeah, I think this is okay. Put that down. 
and then I'll put another Habit Tracker down. I really have this pattern sort of down pat on the order that things go down. And then we've got one more for step counts, which should hopefully, yeah, it will fit. Just fit. There we go. Okay, we have a little bit of space. Let's put a little side, a little bit of strip here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I think all the main stickers are down. I'm going to go through and actually fill it out with some excess stickers. And, um... I'll keep it rolling so you can see how everything pulls together. So I'm back and this is the final look. I really like this look. I really like the dark purples. I think I wish the kit had a little bit more dark purpleness to it. I don't know, that sounds weird. The blue just doesn't feel like it sits as cohesively. But other than that, I really love the look. I love the unicorn feel. I added a few more like, I don't know, reindeers to this kit. This came from a sample sticker sheet from the Happy Face Planner or something like that. No, it came from Planner Face sample sheet. So I'll just quickly go through the rest. I have Coffee Monster Co. I have Once More with Love Here and Here. And the icons are just actually from the kit. I think that's it. Yeah, I haven't really used any other external sticker sheets. It's really just mostly the kit with a few bits and bods here. The weather stickers are from my own shop, Happy Cloud Inc. I always use them because they just seem to fit really nicely at the top. And that's pretty much it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet. <music>